My name is Dana Wilson from the Lummi Tribe. We're out here at Cypress Island retrieving Atlantic salmon that busted loose from the pen that has disintegrated. We're out here trying to get these Atlantic salmon out of the water as soon as possible while well, they're concentrated in one area so they don't mingle off into places where they shouldn't be. It's a sad state to see these fish jumping everywhere that don't belong in the Salish Sea. I don't even know what to call this fish. In, in our language, there isn't even a word for these kind of fish. In August of 2017, uh, the net pen facility at Cypress Island, owned by Cook Aquaculture, came off of its moorings and began to move. Uh, the facility itself began to come apart. According to information that's been reported, uh, Cook knew about some damage in their net pens and initially had reported it as uh, only 5,000 fish escaping. And what we discovered is that it wasn't four or 5,000 fish that it had escaped, it was basically all of them. We're in here a week after the fish have, have, have busted loose. You know, they, they open it up for the recreational fishermen to come out, but you know, these fish don't bite on a lure, they're hand fed. So they're not really catching enough of these fish to do what needs to be done. I wish the company would have, would have let us know a little sooner that this disaster has happened. We have over 300,000 escaped farm salmon swimming uh, alongside our wild fish and we're very eager to get them out of the water. It's very disheartening to have such a disaster like this in the Salish Sea that is uh, contaminating the waters. So we're doing our best and you know, we got word from our chairman to go ahead and open the season and, and, and fish these things out of the water. The Lummi tribes that are out there persaining now and us out on the water here uh, reef netting, um, we're not exactly sure what to do with this waste product. Uh, nobody wants to buy them. Uh, the Lummi tribe doesn't even want them as crab bait. The Atlantic farm salmon are a problem because they're not native species. Um, they're basically underwater locusts, frankenfish. If they manage to get up river and spawn, we're told that they can't spawn. Uh, but meanwhile, uh, they are getting up in the rivers. This is happening right now uh, and could potentially interfere with uh, fish that are returning to spawn. These fish over two years can be over 10 pounds. Uh, when I first heard that I thought it was a joke but now that we're seeing them be caught uh, they are enormous unnaturally fat fish. This is not a Puget Sound issue though. It's not a Canadian issue, it's not a Chile issue. Everywhere in the world, these are a problem. But getting them out of Puget Sound will be great stimulus to everyone that's working on these. People just like us, everywhere in the world, are trying to get them out of their waters. Throughout this escape, it's being framed as fishermen catch and eat all you want. I can tell you personally, I would not eat one of these fish without seeing uh, a clean bill of health. And even then, because of the impact on the environment, I want nothing to do with farm fish. As a college student, you do grocery shop for your own food, but I don't think that we are paying attention to wild salmon versus farmed salmon. And I didn't even know that this was an issue, but it seems to be a pretty monumental problem considering it's messing with the ecosystem. Marine life and the ocean acts as like such an integral component of our everyday life and I think that 
in almost every aspect the ocean is involved and we don't even realize it. Our, our water in here is pristine and we want to keep it that way. We don't want to see salmon farms move in and contaminate our waters. The people of Puget Sound care passionately about, about the health of our waters. So I would say continue to stay engaged, continue to look at our native salmon stocks, uh, continue to be engaged in habitat protection and advocating for a healthy Puget Sound. Another three of the net pens in Puget Sound, the lease has been taken away. Now we have four total in Puget Sound that are gone. That's half of the net pens. We have four more to go and Puget Sound will be free of them. This is a complicated issue. We do need everybody working together. Uh, but within that, uh, it's easy to take action. For starters, don't support farmed salmon. If you're buying your wild salmon at a seafood market, develop a relationship with them. Ask good questions. Where is the fish from? If they can't tell you, don't buy it. It's not wild. Wild fish, it will be known where they are caught from. Uh, if you're uh, buying farmed salmon, you're contributing to environmental degradation out there. Um, and that's, th that's tough to say. I, I don't put that on, on folks' plate lightly. Um, you, you have a choice and it's really easy to be part of the solution. Uh, vote with your dollars and these companies will get the message.